this exhibition focuses for the very first time on Leonardo the painter. And we've been able to gather here the largest number of pictures that's ever been seen in, in one place. Well, one of the interesting things about Leonardo's career is the fact that so many of his paintings are unfinished, as we know. Uh, and from the point of view of understanding how he painted, however, it's a sort of hidden blessing. You can see various states of non-finish in all kinds of works throughout the entire exhibition. For example, in The Virgin of the Rocks, while it appears at a first glance to be a, a finished painting, when you look closely, you'll see some parts of the picture are barely taken beyond the initial underdrawing and modeling stage. For example, the hand of the angel that supports the back of the Christ child. Leonardo took 25 years to complete the commission that he undertook in 1483 for the Confraternity of the Immaculate Conception in Milan. And during that time, he produced two pictures. We don't really know why, but one of them's landed up in Paris and the other in London. And they've never been seen together before, probably not even by Leonardo. So this is really the great highlight of the exhibition. And we're telling a story, a particular story, of Leonardo's time as court artist to Ludovico il Moro, the Sforza Duke of Milan, who gave him a salary and the time and the space to meditate upon his art, the art of painting, as never before. And so what we see here is an extraordinary journey, one that takes Leonardo from an artist who believed that his responsibility was to record nature as precisely as possible, to an artist who believed that his creative skills were akin to those of God himself. Leonardo da Vinci was born in 1452, the illegitimate son of a notary and a peasant girl, and he received a traditional training in, in Florence in his late teens from the great artist Andrea del Verrocchio. I think it's quite clear that Florence really didn't suit him. It's a city of commercial cut and thrust, and, and Leonardo already was demonstrating that he was an artist of unusual curiosity, of extraordinary wide interests, and with an extraordinary inability actually to finish commissions. This is an artist who, even from the beginning, demonstrated that he was a painter-philosopher. He regarded sight as the most important of the senses, and everything that he painted was something that he could see. This was his way of understanding the world, and painting was the way in which he could present it to others. Leonardo was one of the most marvellous draftsmen who ever lived, and we have an extraordinary array of 50 graphic masterpieces here in the, in the show, lent above all by Her Majesty the Queen, but really from all over Europe and America, from the Met in New York, from the Uffizi in Florence, and from the Louvre in Paris. It's really a, a wonderful group of works. Mm -hmm.